let's look at an example of using Kramer's rule, or they could also say determinants, to set up the determinants um, of the solution of this system of three equations with three different letters. We can only use Kramer's rule to solve systems that have the same number of equations as they have variables, which this one does. And in this one, I'm not going to actually find the uh, um, numerical values for my variables x, y, and z, but I'm going to set up the determinant that would allow us to solve them, and then you could go and solve the values for the determinants, evaluate the determinants by either using your graphing calculator or by expansion by minors. Well, here I have three different letters that I'm trying to find the values for that would be the solution to the system. So we have our x is equal to a quotient, y is equal to a quotient of two de um, determinants, and z is equal to a quotient of two determinants. Remember the denominator determinants for all of the solutions den denominators are just making sure first that your equations are written so the x's are lined up, the y's, the z's, the equal to's, and the constants. And then for the denominators, we just use the coefficients from in front of the variables. So I have 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 2, and 3, negative 3, negative 2. Now, if there's a variable that's missing in one of those equations, then you would use a coefficient of zero for that variable term that's missing. So we have that for each of our denominators. Now for the numerators. For each of the numerators, you want to start by copying the denominator determinant that you have. And then look at which variable you're creating the numerator for. So for the variable x's numerator's determinant, I take out the coefficients of x and I replace that column with the constants from the other side of the equation. So with 12, 9, and 1. For the numerator for y, again, I'm going to copy the determinant from the denominator. For the y's numerator, I'm going to erase out the coefficients of y and replace it with the constants 12, 9, and 1. And then for the numerator for z, again copy the determinant from the denominator. For z, erase out z's coefficients and replace them with the constants. This question just asked you to set up the determinants. So for this particular question, we would be done. If it actually was a question that said solve the system by determinants, once we got each of these set up, we'd find the numerical value for the determinants of each of the numerators, and we'd also find the value of the determinant that's in the denominator, and either simplify the fractions or divide them out if they have an integer value to finally report our solution. But for what this question asked us, this would be how we would leave our final result.